Hi folks, Chuck here, Why Not Wander. We're with son Adam in his car. Colorado Springs, Colorado. I believe it's the 12th of June, 2021. Where, what are we, 1 o'clock? 1.30 in the afternoon. The girls are at the baby shower. We're checking out Garden of the Gods, Colorado Springs. It's, uh, I think, a uh, national park. Rock outcrockings, unique forms, rather uh, unusual terrain. It's mainly a drive through park. Garden of the Gods right there, Olympic City, USA. I think they had some Olympics around here once. But it's really a neat area, kind of right in the middle of the south end of Colorado Springs. Really a pretty good sized area. Don't know if anybody's ever been. I was just telling Adam it's somewhat similar to Red Rocks Park up west of Denver. When I was a kid, we lived in Golden, Colorado. And one of the field trips our class used to take from school was to go to Red Rocks. I think we did that a couple times. We lived in Golden and we moved out south down to Pleasant View, which was at that time kind of a suburb of Golden. Now it's probably more or less a suburb of Denver. Everything's kind of grown out that way. Really is a cool area if you're ever down in this neck of the woods, someplace you might want to check out. The parking area, there's Pikes Peak. Let's see, where is he in my camera? This new camera, I'm not used to it yet, but it does have a rear screen and I have it turned off right now it has a front screen so I can look at myself when I'm filming myself and see what's in the field of view and that same touch screen just am I recording I think I'm recording yes okay <laughs> I've done that before I think I had my camera turned on and found out it wasn't even recording but this does have a timer. We've been going for a couple minutes now. Gate closed from May 1st to October 31st. Probably the other way around. October 31st to May 1st, I don't know. Two-way traffic here, some neat looking spires up here. Well, they do have a vendors, visitor center. You can go inside and learn all kinds of things. But to see the park itself is really kind of a uh, drive-through thing. Now, I kind of remember they did have an amphitheater here. You could go inside, and just the way light reflections, reflections were, you actually had a panoramic view of the park from inside that amphitheater. I remember we went in there as a part of the class trip when we came down here. There are hiking trails. There's people hiking up in the rocks over here on this side. It's really a unique geographical area, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Daughter Kelly had worked in this area a couple of summers when she was in college with the Navigators Group, which is a Christian support group for college students. Her husband, Zach, is now a professional navigator. They just moved to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. I'm not sure of the name of the college, but they were. their mission is to start. Well, they've been there a year now, I guess. So their mission was to start a navigators group at the college up there, whatever college is in. Houghton or Houghton, I'm not sure of the pronunciation. Michigan. I think I set my sleep time to this uh, back screen too short. It goes black, but turns back on. I'm still learning to run this uh, GoPro Hero 9. And I don't think I've published a video from it yet. I filmed a little bit on a couple days. But we've been so busy doing stuff and traveling. I haven't got anything downloaded to the computer or anything yet been over a year since I think I published anything on my computer from a GoPro. I've been using my iPhone for most of my videos live streaming the last year or 
or so. Because that's immediate. Puts it right on YouTube right away. No editing to it. But for something like this, to get out in some of these areas, we've been lacking cell service. I don't know. What do you got for cell service here? Nothing. Nothing, yeah. That's kind of what I thought was going to happen, so I figured I would record this on my uh, GoPro instead of the iPhone. Do that, you do have to have cell service. So. Probably trying to take you to the center of the park or headquarters or something, huh? Yeah, the parking spot right up here. Hopefully Central we'll Garden, 250 feet away. find a lot of people I think it's like a bunch of bikers must be some bike trails here someplace too biking and hiking and turn my screen on get the rock there that's pretty far up there spray on sunscreen for those folks Perfect. Busy place, Saturday afternoon, middle of June. A lot of people here to see the sights. Get out and get a little bit more footage here. Buddy. We probably won't film continuously, but we'll show you some of the sights at least. Maybe I'll shut this down when I get out of the car because you're really not going to see anything. <laughs> okay, here we go again. Don't know if we can get the perspective here, but here's where we are. Showing the cars compared to the size of that rock. Hudson just woke up from a little nap in the car. We went back to the RV so I could get the dogs out for a little walk let them do dog things Here come Adam and Hudson, son and grandson. Should we go over to the observation platform? I don't know how far, you want me to take your picture? Ready, smile. Smile. Can you say cheese? Cheese! There you go. Get in here, Chuck. Oh, okay. Alright. Here's the three of us. One, two, three. Alright. Alright. They're huge. They're huge. They're huge, yeah. yeah. That's what huge means. <laughs> Thank you. 
Just a little note here if anybody's planning on visiting this area. Take all the pictures you want, but there is a so sign drones are not permitted per city ordinance. Now we are kind of in the middle of the city, and I suppose it's possible you get a drone in behind. The rocks lose service and lose your drone. They don't want you walking everywhere. They've got nice paved walks with that sign down there. Don't know if you can see it. I think there's a way I could zoom it. But I don't remember how. I have to study on that more. It says unlawful entry. We're not allowed to go in that area. Looks like maybe there used to be trails down there, but they've since improved their trails with sidewalks. Nice parking lot there. Big red one below the sun, that's a red sand town. Anybody heard of Red Rocks Amphitheater up in Morrison? You want to the left? Put that sign in. Another red sand town. Red Rock. One back. That is a gray sandstone. Made of sandstone. Red sandstone, gray sandstone. There's a guide here. Uh, Explaining the formation of the rocks. Watch to his left, that's a white sandstone. Who has guessed what the name is? If we look to what is, I think, straight ahead right now, what looks kind of shadowy in the distance. That is Cheyenne Mountain. That's where the zoo was, where we were yesterday. I recognize the radio and TV towers up on top, which you probably can't even see in this picture. But uh, looking at my screen here, it looks more like a shadow than anything out there. But that's at the far end of Colorado Springs, south end. The uh, Red Rocks here, I guess, are kind of southish, as the city as a whole is concerned. But. Really pretty cool area. Okay, I was just going to add this. If we look up here, now it's hard for me to even see in the video screen, but there's like a keyhole right up through there. They call that formation kissing camels, the way the rocks are shaped, kind of like humps of a couple of camels getting together. Interesting. Yeah, we just noticed the guy that was explaining things up there is with this group of people on a bicycle. Apparently it's a guided bicycle tour through Red Rocks. Probably inquire about that at the information center if you're interested. Okay, so we're just coming down the trailways here. They got an observation circle. Which I suppose everything means something here. Chuck Wagon Pavilion. Okay, 1935 members of JC's Civic Group in a park tradition hosting chuck wagon dinners at this site for visitors. How about that? I'll try and focus the camera on that. If you're interested, you can pause the video, read about it. An early food truck. Chuck wagon was a covered wagon historically used for trans storing and transporting food and cooking equipment. The term chuck wagon comes from chuck, a slang word for food. Also used on cattle drives, I know for a fact. It says up here in the corner, thousands of visitors enjoyed hearty meals, family friendly entertainment, and live music during summer evenings. Interesting stuff. Hey, this GoPro Hero 9 I am enjoying already. With my Hero 3, you never knew 
how far or how close you had to be to be able to read things. A little bit in the breeze right now, so I hope you can hear me, but at the very least, you should be able to pause the video and read what this says. Garden of the Gods has been designated a National Natural Landmark. National Park Service, 1971. I think, let's see, I was seven. It would have been 1957 the first time I was here. Get another sign here. People were kind of right in front of it. With this screen, I can frame it. You should be able to pause the video and read it if it's anything you're interested in. Talking about wildlife in the park Rocky Mountain sheep, mule deer, prairie lizard, western rattlesnake, white throated swift, brown bat. Bats are probably the most interest to people. Holes in the rocks offer for shelter for these flying insectivores. The emergent dust consumed thousands of insects in the night skies. How about that? Let's see, it's kind of a panoramic view of part of the park. Okay, there's the uh, eye, which, let's see, that was right up above where we are now up there. So, we must be down in this area. Okay, I moved back just a little bit off. The hole in the rock, I don't know if you can see I can see it, it's right up there. Okay, I'm gonna sit down for a minute, steady the camera. I put this on zoom, this is a 2x zoom. You uh, activate from the touch screen on the back, but right out in front of me. My finger to me is pointing straight at a climber on those rocks. Looks like he's in dark colored pants, a greenish colored top or rig or whatever. Climbing on that rock. Guess we should have brought some binoculars to tell more about it, but that's all the closer I can zoom in with this camera. A couple years ago for Christmas, Linda brought me a Canon Vixia so I could zoom in on stuff. But this new GoPro, I wanted to learn how to run it, so I didn't even bring the Vixia. But there is a guy climbing that rock. I'm not sure. You probably have to have some kind of special permit or something for it. Mind your way, young man. No way. Do you want me to move? No way. No way? Okay, good. <laughs> So anyway, I just thought that was of interest, if you can even see him. He's the only one I see. I don't know if there's anybody else up there or not. But it's the best look we're going to get at him, I think. Okay, just a side note. There's a sign here that says, Climbing Gear and Permit Required. There's a little gate here in the fence, which, okay, it's got a latch. I won't open it. But anyway, there are some stair steps up, so apparently you can climb this rock as well. It does say do not climb wet rock. Crumbly rock can be hidden by any by dry surface, wet ground. Even one wet area on a route is a warning. Help preserve the climbing routes to protect your life. More at www.wetrockhazard.com. Okay, another little update on my uh, camera. Apparently I ran the battery down. I thought it said max video and I thought I'd maybe filled up the SD card, but it didn't seem like it recorded that much, but I obviously did, uh, or apparently did run the battery down. I did bring a couple extra batteries, so we're back in business. But uh, we're just right to the other side of this rock. Sign here says Garden of the Gods given to the city of Colorado Springs in 1909 by the children of Charles Elliot Perkins in fulfillment of his wish that it be kept forever free to the public. So, a little 
note of interest. It used to be privately held, now it's publicly held by the city of Colorado Springs. And behind us, over here, let me put a leg against a rock here. As I look up, there's the climber. He's closer now, maybe you can see him. I'm gonna shut this off, see if I'm still zoomed. Okay, looks like I was still zoomed in. Should be just about in the middle of the screen. I can't see the climber in the screen, so I don't know if you can see him, but he's right up here, got a green shirt on. Not sure which direction he's going. Looks like he might have come down a little bit. This is as close as we can get to him. Hopefully you can see him up there. He's kind of in the shade and we got the sun out here up above us. Maybe he's going to make a move here. I can see he's got ropes. There he comes. He's coming down the face of the rock. A little bit anyway. Okay. That would be way too scary for me, I'll tell you now. I used to be deathly afraid of heights when I was a kid. I'm a little bit better now. But you know one of the things that helped me when I was in my 20s, when I was down here for the Pikes Peak Hill Climb, I think it was in 75, 74, 75. Yeah, it must have been 75. I think I said 74 earlier. But anyway, I did all the uh, stair, all the stairways out of Seven Falls here at uh, Colorado Springs, and that helped immensely. Helped me tremendously as far as fear of heights. Now, up on rocks, not sure they're. You have to have great confidence in your equipment, which obviously this guy does, but he's still moving pretty carefully, little at a time. Okay. At this rate, it's going to take him all day to get anywhere, so we're not going to try and watch him, especially if I'm running through batteries that quick. So, you see him up there, honey? Yeah, we almost missed him, but there's a deer right here. Let's see, it's in my frame. He must be. Well, he's wandering on up out of the way now. Come up on the right side of the bushes here, Chuck. Okay. Yeah, they look like they're taking a the picture, so. There he is, or she. Hit. A deer up there in the shadow of that tree. Okay. Cool place to visit if you're ever in Colorado Springs. A couple more deer right there. Eating the leaves on the bushes, whatever those bushes are. You're fine. <laughs> Couple of mule deer, see how long their ears are? Got a motorcycle gang bunch here. Outcasts. Okay, we're back in the car, continuing our tour of the park. Garden of the Gods, Colorado Springs. I think it's also home of NORAD, North. What does NORAD stand for? Some kind of 
Air Force Command Center or something, isn't it? Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Well, she's not going to talk to me. Here's a panoramic view. Cheyenne Mountain to the south. Red Rocks to the west, or to the right of us. Pikes Peak behind the Red Rocks there. It's a neat area if you ever get a chance to visit. I'm gonna stop this video here. Chuck, why not honor son Ed, grandson Hudson in the back seat. Thank you all for watching. If you ever get a chance to visit Colorado Springs, don't miss all the things to do. There's lots of them. Be safe. Have a great day. See you on the next video.